Take aim and take it down. Unwanted or illegal drones beware. It's the Battle Drone Defender from Battle Corporation, a leader in applied science research, innovation, and manufacturing. Looking like an exotic space rifle straight out of Flash Gordon or the Buck Rogers sci-fi films, this baby means business. When a rogue drone appears, the user can simply aim and fire a concentrated cone of energy that disrupts the drone's remote control signal and GPS reception, thus bringing down the drone. The Battle Drone Defender can defend up to 400 meters of airspace against any unauthorized aerial surveillance. It's lightweight, portable, and believed to be safe. This ingenious piece of electronics may soon become far more widely used. However, the public isn't invited. Until approved for public and regular law enforcement use, it's currently only authorized to be used by specific U.S. government agencies. For more information, just visit battle.org. With drones becoming increasingly more involved in close calls with aircraft, unauthorized flights over military installations, and unwanted surveillance, the need for anti-drone systems is absolute. One promising invention is the Skywall 100 Drone Defense System from English startup company OpenWorks Engineering. When a rogue drone shows up saying, uh, catch me if you can, Skywall, a 22-pound shoulder-mounted net cannon, can actually do just that. Skywall uses advanced computer-aided visual targeting system that can track and bring down the moving drone from up to 100 yards away. When the system locks on, Skywall fires a capsule containing a huge net and a parachute. Once the drone is captured in the net, the parachute brings the drone down safely and intact. In case of a miss or multiple drones, Skywall can be reloaded and fired in as little as 8 seconds. As of now, OpenWorks is yet to announce the price or release date of Skywall, but you can bet there will be plenty of interest. Find out more at OpenWorksEngineering.com. Another company developing drone net capture technology is Tice UAV Solutions with the Exippo anti-drone systems. Exippo doesn't need to wait for the drone to wander into range because it's a drone. Exippo is equipped with an onboard camera and can be guided to intercept, fire a net at the moving drone and disable its propellers. The net can be fired freely, causing the rogue drone to drop to the earth like a stone. Or the net can also remain tethered to the Exippo, allowing it to carry its opponent back Back to base for examination. This one-sided high-tech game of tag definitely gives the home team advantage against some not-so-welcome visitors. Since the size of the net can be adjusted, development is also underway to adapt the Exippo for capture of manned aircraft, people, cars, even animals. Anyone thinking rodeo? In its current design, Exippo requires that the pilot fly manually, but Tice says they hope to create a version that can automatically chase and capture the target once it's seen by the pilot on the camera. For more information, visit TiceUAV.com. So far, we've seen some crazy yet effective innovations to combat the serious problems of rogue drones. In the Netherlands, however, police are investigating the possibility of using raptors to take down these intruders. No, we're not talking velociraptors like Jurassic Park, but we are talking about what many scientists believe are their descendants, predatory birds, specifically eagles. Leave it to the folks in the land of the Vikings to come up with such a talon-wielding solution. Police and raptor training company Guard From Above are teaming up to see if this can actually be done effectively. These birds of prey are absolutely beautiful when seen up close. But after one look at one of these majestic creatures snatching a drone from the sky, and you'll know it's not their good looks that makes them so successful in the wild. Raptor talons are extremely sharp and strong enough to crush bone. Though the bird's handlers say the eagle's tough legs and claws make it unlikely they'll be injured by the propellers, a trespassing drone may not be so safe. So if you're flying a drone in the Netherlands, in a place where ah, you shouldn't be, as they say in the airline industry, watch out for bird strikes. Well, the battle is on. So as long as people continue to fly their drones where they shouldn't, others will keep devising ways to help stop them. And if those methods that we've shown today are any indication of what's to come, no idea, no matter how strange it may be, is going to be off the table.